I'd have to say uh, after lots of research and going online and Facebook and you name it, trying to find out what everybody was doing to, you know, that worked best for me, uh, I finally found VersaTube and uh, looked at their site several times, uh, did the whole Facebook thing, looking to see how, what everybody liked about it. And, and then uh, finally I was like, you know what, this, this, this company is very affordable. You know, this is going to work for me. So then you know, pulled the trigger. Yep, I explored all the different sizes and configurations. Of course, like probably most people, I you know had these big grand aspirations that I was going to make it huge, and uh, and of course you know pricing changes with the uh, with the way the materials are now. I had to downsize a little bit and compromise, but I was able to go with what you see here, and I'm very happy with it. No, I mean I, I'm one of those guys that embraces uh, a challenge and uh, and love to work with my hands. So the fact that it was a kit and I could do it myself at my own time and uh, you know, really make it my own, uh, I was all about it, so jump right on. The, the whole idea behind this was trying to make it as cost efficient as possible. Um, I knew that I had a source for the repurposed materials that I used and that I would be able to get enough to make this uh, project work. Um, so the idea of going with the carport with using the repurposed materials and a shipping container, uh, it just seemed like it was really going to be a no-brainer um, and it really wasn't too difficult for me uh, to pull off. Uh, I do a lot of um, uh, custom work, uh, a lot of repurposing uh, on the side uh, for my hobbies and whatnot and some stuff that I like to sell and it just kind of made sense to go this route, uh, especially if I'm going to be selling things that I make. Uh, why not have a, a shop that you know kind of goes along those same lines? So, so this is a 20 by 24. So I was going to do a 24 by 24, if not bigger, but I ended up going with the 20 by 24. It fit the space perfect, um, and along with the shipping container, it's more than enough for me. This thing, I, I went with the higher uh, carport, and uh, it was very tricky to do on my own to get, that, get up there and get everything in place. So I wasn't really thinking that. I was thinking, ooh, big. And bigger is better. And uh, it ended up being quite challenging, but like I said, I, I love a challenge. Yeah, there's definitely nothing wrong with doing this. I mean, yes, it's a little more work, uh, but if you don't mind a little hard work, uh, you know, you can have a, a decent shop no matter where you are. So uh, the whole idea with a shipping container with the, the carport shop that I've done here is uh, one, to be an anchor, uh, because the carport itself is not in concrete. Uh, this is purely a temporary setup. It's, it's built, or I built it to be able to easy, be easily taken down. So the carport or shop is connected to the shipping container. Um, so it gives it stability. Um, and then, being that I do both woodworking and metalworking, um, I've got different spaces. So the main shop is for metal and uh, uh, welding and whatnot, and then car building, while the shipping container is my wood shop. Uh, probably bigger and better, you know? That's more than likely what's gonna happen. Uh, the plan is to take this back down, as fun as that's gonna be, uh, and put it right back up in the, in the next place, which will be the permanent, its, its final home, its final resting place. And then at that time, it'll be um, even more than it is now, so. So since, since this is a temporary setup, um, blown, in, uh, blown in insulation, which would be the way to go in my, in my opinion, um, I'm not going to do that uh, just because it would be harder to take this thing down again. It would be a little bit messy as far as uh, taking it all apart. Uh, so right now the idea of insulation is uh, going to be foam board uh, for the insulation, the, uh, the thicker foam board. Uh, that way it's a little easier to put in and out. Yeah, there's definitely nothing wrong with doing this. I mean, yes, it's a little more work, uh, but if you don't mind a little hard work, uh, you know, you can have a, a decent shop no matter where you are.